this is Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best. I wanted to take an opportunity today to talk about a new technology, a new, really a new device that is a representation of a very old technology called subcision in the treatment of cellulite. Now you'll be hearing about this on the news and on television and ads and probably there's going to be a lot of enthusiasm, especially amongst the beauty magazines, about a treatment that actually works for cellulite because for so many years and so many devices there have been very nominal improvements with multiple treatments using any of a number of different devices. Uh, people may have heard the term endermology and, and any of a number of different ones. We won't get into that. But the newest one called Selfina has refined the technique of subcision to where it's procedural and gives consistency in the results in improving cellulite. Now cellulite, most people know, is a herniation or bulging of the fat around the thighs, typically buttocks and lower, lower portions of the body that creates an uneven or dimpled appearance to the skin. I think most people know what cellulite is or what it looks like. And in between these little bulges of fat are fibrous bands that extend from the deeper tissues of the skin that kind of dimple or hold the skin down. So we've got intermittent or, or sort of interval bulging of fat pads and little bands of fibrous tissue that are holding the skin down and this is what gives the irregularity to the skin surface or the irregular appearance that people, almost 90% of women have visible uh, cellulite and something like 50% of men have cellulite and so it's not an uncommon problem, it's obviously more common in people that are fatter in general, people that have higher fat content or uh, BMI's uh, fat to muscle ratios, but even in slender people we see cellulite and it's an area obviously of great concern for that reason. So this newer Selfina device works as does subcision by going underneath the skin and dividing the little fibrous bands or septi that hold the skin down and thus letting the, lets the skin release and be smooth to the surface. It doesn't per se do anything to the protruding fat but by releasing the bands, it makes the skin surface smooth. Uh, we have experience now with the Selfina, one of the early centers that, where it was released to do the uh, early clinical testing and evaluation of the, of the product and have seen excellent success. And the technique again is really making small uh, undermining or uh, division, if you will, of the skin from the underlying tissues, a technique called subcision. One can do several areas with this at the same time. Uh, there is very commonly bruising with it. It would be more of an expected side effect than some sort of an adverse event, so people need to be aware of it. We recommend wearing compression uh, garments, uh, Spanx or some type of a, of a girdle, if you will, to hold pr uh, pressure after the treatment. And it's done with a very tiny incision, which I'll explain in some detail. Basically, patients that are interested in cellulite improvement should be evaluated for their overall contour first. They should be at an ideal weight if they're going to stay at their current weight. They're excellent candidates. And then they shouldn't, if you're going to be a candidate for Selfina, be taking any aspirin or aspirin-related products. If you meet those criteria and don't have any blood or bleeding types of disorders, you're, you can be treated with this newer device, Selfina. The patients, uh, all of them, can be done with either just a local anesthesia, which is part of the treatment apparatus, it actually, is the local anesthesia or numbing. We usually use a topical first, mark the areas that are of greatest concern, and if there are many in an adjacent area, we'll take the ones that are the worst, mark those, uh, we'll do the uh, topical anesthesia, and then with each, uh, with each treatment area, there's a small disc applied to the skin surface, and I'll show a video of this in a, in a little bit, where the tissue is sucked into the small disc on the surface, and then there's a special uh, little reciprocating blade, it looks like a little tiny miniature sword that very precisely releases the fibrous bands under the skin surface with a tiny little puncture. So there's not very much to be seen, there's no sutures or no wound closure required, and the results in our experience have been quite good with the, uh, with the expected recovery of having local swelling, uh, bruising, and potentially a little thickening of the tissue during the recovery process. So I'd say that right now, Selfina is uh, appearing to be the go-to procedure for definitive improvement in cellulite. Um, it is a minor surgical procedure which can be done as an outpatient. If people have extensive cellulite, 
then it's done in stages where we'll get most of the worst areas in one stage and come back and get some of the smaller areas in other stages. And it is a procedure that can be done anywhere on the lower body as long as the uh, device can grasp or create suction that pulls the tissue up into it. If you have any questions about Selfina, how it's done, the treatment of cellulite or even the causes or your experience with cellulite, I encourage you to send those questions in uh, to Dr. Moss uh, at, at, or at our website at drmoss.com. You can even take videos or photographs of those and accompany them and I can tell you if you're a good candidate for the Selfina treatment. There are some medications that are on the uh, injectable medications that are on the horizon that may prove to be also very helpful with cellulite. So stay tuned, really, we have a lot of exciting news in this area of unwanted surface contours in a condition called cellulite. This is Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best.